In discussions surrounding nuclear, a lot is said about nuclear waste. It is supposed to be dangerous, we can't dispose of it, and tons of issues arise, and people come up with the wildest theories about what can happen and what not. So a friend of mine arranged a tour at a nuclear waste facility in the Netherlands. This place is called Kovra, and it is built right next to our only power reactor at Borselet. We were invited in, and taking pictures and making videos was allowed. So I was stoked and I grabbed my camera and went along for the trip. So let's find out how it went. First, we got to see an interesting video about radiation and waste. Next, we got to see some cutouts of waste containers and got an explanation on how radioactive isotopes are stored at Kovra. At Kovra, they store low, medium and high level waste. Volume wise, most of this stuff is low and medium level, which mainly originates from the medical world. Think about gloves, towels, syringes, you name it, everything that came in touch with radiation. The first building we entered was used for low and medium level waste, which is basically all these gloves and towels and syringes compacted in a concrete cylinder, which then gets stored in this huge building. As you can see, it's perfectly safe to walk here, have fun, and listen to the tour guide. Next, we went into a room where they also store art. Most of this art is actually put in moving boxes and kept alongside the low and medium level waste. But there were also some pretty big art pieces that were strung on walls. Then we went into the building that stores the high level waste. It's a pretty neat building with a natural convection cooling system to cool off the remaining heat from the spent nuclear fuel. Unfortunately, that heat is so little that you can't really do anything useful with it. The spent nuclear fuel that is stored here doesn't contain any plutonium anymore, because after the fuel was used, it was first transported to La Hague in France, where they extracted the plutonium in order to blend it back in with other fuel in order to create MOX, mixed oxide fuel. The remaining spent nuclear fuel is then vitrified and then sent back to Kovra again to be stored in its high-level waste building. The interesting part about this building is that it is painted orange and it is painted with a lighter shade of orange at 10 year intervals until it is white, signifying the decaying nature of the stuff that is stored in this building. Also stored in this building is the spent nuclear fuel from research reactors and the zirconium that encased the fuel while, while it was in the reactor. They also have a depleted uranium storage at Kovra. I asked the tour guide whether they would consider rebranding the U-308 stored there from waste to precious commodity. They don't actually realize that they are sitting on a pot of gold. So I helped them in the right direction. It was a very interesting day. Kovra occasionally has tours. If you want to visit Kovra, I suggest you first consult their website and perhaps send them an email. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.